Got a bit of a rain delay on the uh, barn wall project. And uh, it's actually good that it's raining right now because I don't think I've ever noticed this, how much the rainwater runs in here through this end. And uh, you know, obviously this wall is not watertight. So it might behoove me to maybe put some flashing on this side. But if I can at least prevent it from streaming into here, you know, if I put stuff in here, I'm obviously gonna wanna try and keep it from getting wet. I am still using those John Dow Industries transfer tanks, fuel transfer tanks, but I also use this sure can. This is like my um, backup, I guess. So I've always got five gallons. When that is empty, I know I need to go. And then I've got this five gallons just in case I run out completely. So I really do like this sure can. I mean, the way this works, you never spill a drop and it's got a good flow. It's actually got better flow than the John Dow tanks. The John Dow tanks are good for my use. Um, as much as I run the Kubota, how many hours I put on it. And I've got two of them, one for standard gas and one for diesel. I always use a high octane gas. It has the least ethanol in it. I am expecting to use more gasoline now that I've got that uh, zero turn mower coming. You just let go of the little trigger, wait for it to stop dripping, tip that up. Didn't even spill a single drop. So the BX is filled. I'll throw this in the truck too. Oh, a little more room. There we go. Yeah, so that way, fill the diesel tank, fill the sure can, and the BX is filled, so I'll be topped off 100%. Now, you don't put enough in these, at least for my use, to like beat the price. I mean, if fuel prices are up, you're not gonna be able to fill this and keep it long enough to wait until fuel prices go down, if they ever go down. <laughs> but it is enough to have here on the property and uh, know that I'm not gonna run out. And there it sits, my 60 inch mower deck. I tell you what, with the new mower coming, I don't think I'm putting that back on. No, sir. That is the least favorite thing I've ever had to do with the Kubota. I know it is what it is, you know, 
It's got some good, it's got some bad, but the bad is definitely, for me, been taking it off, putting it back on. So the Under Armour is on the tractor and the Under Armour is gonna stay there and uh, however long it takes for that new mower to come, the grass is just gonna grow. It'll be a good test for it when it gets here, yeah. So I am not putting that back on, nope. So of course, one other thing you have to consider with this is the weight. And two of these together, including the tanks, filled to the top, probably 230 pounds, maybe a little more. And if a pallet weighs 40 pounds, 270 max, you know, and the BX can handle that just fine. So that was a definite consideration. Now you could go with a bigger diesel tank fill it with 30 or 40 gallons and still be able to manage it with the BX, but you'd have to go twice. You'd have to go once for your regular gas and then of course one more time for your diesel. You, you gotta do what, uh, what suits your needs. And of course the budget for one of these, um, I looked up, I, I, I saw them for around 200 bucks right now. That's as of this video. I don't remember what I paid for them, but they stood up, they're good. Um, the gravity feed, of course gravity's always on, but it's slow. So, you know, you gotta be patient. It's, it's, not, it's not a super fast fill. Um, if it had an electric pump, that would speed things up. Maybe add a pump and a filter to it. You can do that. Um, I, on my original video, showed that this gets kinked. So I added some uh, rubber, not rubber, plastic, hard plastic um, cable protector over it and it keeps it straight. I did have a mouse or some kind of a rodent chew on it. So I put some Gorilla tape around it. It still leaks a little bit. I probably should get a new hose for it. Um, but anyway, overall, after all this time of using it, it's all stood up very well. The fuel flows clean, and um, I don't see any reason to replace them. So John Dow 15-gallon fuel storage. I'm happy with it. Hope you're happy with this video. Glad you tuned in on Wednesday, now that we're doing two videos a week. And I will see you Saturday when I am doing more stuff. See you then.